this is the main studio of Desilu Productions. Just behind this door is the office of the president of Desilu Productions. And here, seated at his desk, we find the boss. Uh, correction. This is the boss's boss, the vice president of Desilu Productions. Oh, hi, dear. Hi, honey. Would you sit over there, dear? I'm busy. Just a minute. This is my desk. It says here, President. Well, if you want to get technical. <laughs> now, will you sit over there? What are you doing there? It's so important. Well, I'm making a list of the appliances I'll need for my new dressing room. Now, look, Lucy. I thought we discussed this at breakfast, and we decided to let those things go till later. Oh, I know we did, dear. Well? Well, that was at breakfast. It's now three hours later. <laughs> you know, at the rate you're going, it's going to cost more to fix your dressing room than it did to buy the whole studio. Oh, come now. All I need is a few gadgets for the kitchen, a couple of things for the sitting room. And our sponsor seems to have the best line at the lowest prices. Where did you get this Westing Gauss catalog? Westing Gauss? <laughs> it's not Westing Gauss, it's Westing House. House. No, they are Westing Gauss. Gauss. <laughs> How do you pronounce W E S T I N G? Westing? Right. H O U S E. House? Fine, now put them together. Weston House? <laughs> this is the first time two rights made a wrong. Now, look, Lucy, it just so happens that I studied English grammar in Cuba. No. Look, let me explain something. Explain, explain, please explain. Look, when the G is followed by an H-O, like in G-H-O-S-T, ghost. G H O, you say go. There is no H. <laughs> well, if you keep calling it Westing Gauss, there'll be plenty of H. I am telling you, it is pronounced Westing Gauss. I suppose the people who've been doing their TV commercials all these years have been wrong, huh? Well, in this particular case, I'm speaking better English than Betty Furness and John Cameron Sweezy. <laughs> How you ever got to be president, I will never know. Never mind that. Where did you get this? From Mr. Hayden, our Westing, our dealer in Beverly Hills. Well, just give it back to him. Or better yet, I'll give it back to him when he comes in. Oh, is, is Mr. Hayden coming here? Yeah. What's that for? You were going to order all those new appliances and surprise me. Look, honey, I am taking Mr. Hayden on a tour of all the studios, and I'm going to tell him all about Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse, so that he and all the fellows at Westinghouse will know what we're going to do to help them sell their product. What kind of a surprise is that? I didn't say I was going to surprise you. Well, all right, well, when you and I take Mr. Hayden on a tour of our studios, I'll give my order then. You know, I, I do have a surprise for you. Really? What? You're not going on the tour of the studios. <laughs> Why not? Because I told you that you will have to wait till later to get your Western Gauss appliances. That's why not. Well, couldn't I just tell him which ones I want and buy them later? Nothing doing. I do not trust you. Some organization, the president doesn't trust the vice president. And how'd you get to be president anyway? I was elected. By whom? By me. <laughs> now look, honey, if you'll just be patient, you'll get all the Western Gauss appliances that you need for your dressing room. But right now, why don't you go to lunch and take the afternoon off like a nice little girl, huh? No. Hello? 
Mr. Hayden? Oh, yes. Yeah. Send him right in, please. Mr. Hayden? Well, at least I'll get a chance to say hello to him. Hello, goodbye, and that is all. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hello, Mr. Hayden. Uh, you know my wife? Yes, we had quite a chat about some appliances for her dressing room. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. Uh, Mr. Hayden, uh, Lucy won't be able to go with us in the studio tour. She has a luncheon appointment. Oh, I'm sorry. I could break it. Goodbye, dear. Uh, why don't you come down to my store tomorrow and place your order there? Goodbye, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate goodbyes, don't you? Unless, of course, the goodbyes are the kind that you have on those wonderful Westinghouse appliances. What do you think? Adios. Adios. We decided to wait a little while on the appliances. Uh, was, he decided. I didn't. You see, he's the president. I understand. Well, uh, whenever you're ready, Mrs. Arnaz, we have some wonderful things for you. And we have some wonderful things for you and all your Westinghouse dealers, too, in our new Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse for the fall. He means Westinghouse. Adios. Adios. I, I, I just want to stay a few more minutes. I, I just want to take another look at the catalog book before you have to give it back to Mr. Hayden. I won't say a word. Uh, uh, you want to just sit down? Yes. Thank you. No, I'm really anxious to hear about the Playhouse. Those Westinghouse television shows in the past have been a great thing for our business. Oh, you mean shows like... Uh... Studio One and the political conventions, election returns, stuff like that? Yeah, and the college and pro football telecasts. Oh, and, uh, Best of Broadway. That was one of the first color TV series. Oh, yeah, well, you know, those, those shows are being great, all right. And, well, we're just hoping that our series will be the best yet. You know, we like to do the, the, the kind of shows for you fellows that, uh, that we have found to be the most successful in the past. You know, shows that, well, that, that deal with, with real people and real stories, people that, uh, that you like to identify yourself with. And we like to mix them up a little bit, you know, do a good melodrama, a good suspense show, or a real good Western with, uh, you know, with a good uh, basic dramatic story in it, or a comedy, a musical comedy, you know. Shows that, uh, that you can watch with your whole family and, and watch them week after week. Shows that will uh, pick up more dirt faster than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I was just reading about the all-new Westinghouse Mobile Speed Vacuum Cleaner. It's a dilly. Is that right? Oh. Uh, and you know something uh, wonderful has happened since we announced this uh, Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse for next fall. We have a, a great um, amount of creative talent here at Desilu, but since we made the announcement. All the other wonderful people around town have been calling us, wanting to join the team, you know, people like, uh, well, writers like Aaron Spellin and Rod Serling, and Adrian Spees, and Harrison Kane, and, and so that uh, we, we lined up quite a team for you. Our first story, like I told you, is going to be Bernadette, and that was going to be written by a girl by the name of Rudy Clear, who did a wonderful job on Richard Samuel Ray. So that uh, with this kind of creative talent and with the biggest stars in show business to... Uh, Wash, rinse, and dry your dishes. <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> Say, this Westinghouse dishwasher is pretty exciting. What about the Lucy Desi Hour shows? Will I be part of the playhouse? Oh, <laughs> you bet, sure. You know, during the year, Lucy and I will do about seven big special shows. As a matter of fact, we opened the season in October. That's the one that Maurice Chevalier is in. Hey, will the Mertzels be in? Oh, 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 we wouldn't do a show without the Mertzels. Or little Ricky. And of course, I'll be on hand every week to produce the show and also to be your host. Sounds like you're going to be pretty busy. No, no busier than you Western Gauss dealers will. How can we miss? I happen to know that your five Lucy Desi shows last season got the five biggest ratings of the year, averaging over. 50 million viewers a show. That's money in the bank for us. <laughs> well, and I, I think that the, the playhouses will attract the big audience every week, too, because my Western gals, we know that we've got a good product that the people would like to buy. See, I hope you don't mind my asking about the commercials, but you know, they're pretty important, that's all. Oh, I know, I know. And we thought about them a lot, too. You see, in, in our shows, uh, you would on, it wouldn't only be a ready furnace, doing the commercials, you know. Lucy and I will be selling 
all the different things that Westinghouse makes. Yes, we want everybody in the country to know what a wonderful company Westinghouse is. That's right. You know, I, I don't know if you know this, you know, Mr. Hayden, but a few months ago, I, I took a tour of all the Westinghouse plants throughout the country. And I, I never realized what a, what a really tremendous outfit this is, you know, how many great things they do for America business, you know, to, to help make America the great country that America is. I mean, things that uh, the industry of America needs and uses. And in our show, we know that we're going to be talking to, well, to, to all kinds of people, to, to company presidents, to, to purchasing agencies, to, to people in government, and we're going to be talking to them right at their home. That's where John Cameron and Suisse comes in. Oh, by the way, uh, three out of four commercials will feature the electrical appliances that you sell, Mr. Hayden. I'll bet John Cameron, Sweezy, and Betty Furness have Westinghouse appliances in their dressing rooms. Isn't it time for you to go to lunch? If I had a Westinghouse electric range in my dressing room, I wouldn't have to Lose. go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you won't be needing that, dear. Oh, she can keep that if you like. Thanks, but by the time he lets me buy anything, the 1961 catalog will be out. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. hi. Oh, hi. Oh, how are you? Hi. Oh, well, baby, I'm Bill Bill Crawley. I would like you to meet uh, Mr. Hayden. He's a Western Gauss dealer, one of our sponsors. Hi, boss. How you do? Oh, hi. I'm on Beverly Hill. Oh, that's nice. I'll drop by and see you. Nancy, we just stopped by to see if you and Lucy would like to join us for lunch. We're going over to the commissary. Well, I can't go. I have to take Mr. Hayden the tour of the studios, but Lucy can. And then uh, here, Bill. This oh, is no, me. no, no, you don't. This is my treat. Fred Mertz might be a tight wad, but not Bill Frawley. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, Bill, we'll go to Romanoff. Romanoff? <laughs> okay, Fred Mertz, we'll go to the commissary. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd better get going. The helicopter is waiting in the parking lot. Helicopter? Oh, yeah. I want you to get a very side view of all the Desilu Studios. Go ahead. See you later. Bye. Right. Adios. <laughs> Let's eat. I'm starving. Okay. The name is Vivian. The name may be Vivian, but the appetite is F. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but let's eat in a hurry. I have a lot of business to transact with Mr. Hayden, and I need you two to help me. What business? Westinghouse business for my new dressing room. Is this a plot to put something over on Desi? Well... As Betty Furness would say, you can be sure if it's Lucy. Oh. <laughs> 